let's talk about the Houston Texans here for a little bit. Look, this is a Texans team. We know they're very good. They proved it last season, winning the division title, making a run to the postseason, beating the Cleveland Browns, giving the Baltimore Ravens a heck of a game before the game eventually got out of hand in the second half. But we know this is one of the more talented teams, and everyone is focusing on C.J. Stroud, and rightly so. He had an incredible rookie year. His future is so bright. But it's not just Stroud. That's the, the kind of the sneaky good secret about this Houston team. They've got a lot of young, talented players. In fact, CBS Sports recently did their list of breakout stars on every single team in the National Football League. And the Houston Texans have two guys on defense alone that made their list. Let's pull up this report, then we can talk about it more in detail on the other side. Again, this is from CBS Sports. NFL players develop at their own pace. Not every All-Pro reaches that status from the moment they arrive on the scene. Exploring pro players still on the rookie contract, I constructed this team of breakouts, which is not to say all of them will reach All-Pro or even Pro Bowl distinction, but that they have an attainable higher level of player. All right, one guy on this list, linebacker Christian Harris from the Houston Texans. Harris was very inconsistent on his 712 defensive snaps, but there was reason for optimism. Head coach D'Amico Ryan's background is the linebacker positions, and with an upgraded talent floor in Houston, there is no reason to believe that Harris will not take another step forward. So Christian Harris named as a guy to break out, according to CBS Sports. But that wasn't the only guy on defense for Houston. Cornerback Derek Stingley Jr. also made the list. Derek Stingley's issues have been consistent over the course of two seasons. He has six interceptions, but also has 14 games missed. Dating back to his freshman season at Baton Rouge, Stingley has been regarded as a top talent at his position, and if healthy, he could have a breakout season. Again, this speaks to the larger point that this team is uber talented. It's not just Stroud. They are stacked all across the roster, and that should send a powerful message to the rest of the Houston Texans competition. Myers, I'm curious what your thoughts are on this, but first, Texans fans, in the comment section below, the first guy on this list was Christian Harris, which means we're going to talk linebackers first. Give us your favorite Houston Texans linebacker of all time. I'm a Cushing man myself, but maybe there's another guy you like more. Give us your favorite Texans linebacker of all time and put them in the comment section below. And while you're down there, uh, make sure you check out the description box below where we're promoting a great summer reading for you guys, a great NFL book. It is Playmakers by the great Mike Florio over at Pro Football Talk. Got a copy of it right here. It was a great read. Highly recommend it. Make sure you check out the link in the description box below to get access to a great book to prepare you for this upcoming NFL season. But Miles, I'll throw it over to you now. What are your thoughts on this latest Houston Texans news? Yeah, Nick, I, I think this is great news, and I think it just shows the offense isn't the only side of the ball that we can look for a major you know, step up this offseason, which offense was fantastic last season, but you add on guys like Mixon, you add on guys like Diggs, you expect a major step up. But I think we can expect that on the defensive side of things as well. I think the easy one to look at is cornerback Derek Stanley, especially just because missing 14 games in the past two seasons is quite a lot he's not getting into the rhythm that he needs to be in he's not really you know being a meshing part of this team when you're out let's basically put it almost an entire season between the course of two seasons uh, I think that's very uh, big hindrance but he did play very well when healthy last season I think he's probably on the upward trend of getting healthier and healthier so I expect him to be absolutely phenomenal this season if he can keep a string of healthy games together, I think we're going to see very big things from a high uh, first round draft pick in Derek Stingley. But I think Harris is the most intriguing of the two. I think, you know, Stingley's more of like the no duh. Like, yeah, if he's healthy, he's going to be really good. But Harris is very interesting because Harris's first year was absolutely horrible. He had a 28.3 PFF grade back in 2022. He made a huge jump. Huge jump, 40.64.9 grade last year. Now, again, under uh, D'Amico Ryans, getting this team back on track, getting some guys that he likes in here. I really like Al Shahir as he's also here in the linebacker uh, room as well. I think we're going to see big time step up in play by this linebacking group. And I think Harris is a guy that, you know, he's probably not going to jump another 40 points because that would be over 100. That's, that's impossible. But I think we're going to see significant upgraded play out of a guy like Harris settling into the system for a second year and really finding his feet around some similarly strong players as well. I think this Houston Texans defense as a whole is primed for a breakout as a team, not just these two players. 
You know, let's back up a year. Right around this time, of course, a talk was exclusively C.J. Stroud, unproven rookie. How good was he going to be? Some people still even like Bryce Young. Some people even higher on Will Levis, Anthony Richardson, right? There's a lot of question marks involving C.J. Stroud, rightly so, right? He hadn't shown what he would be, obviously go on to be last season and how bright his future was. But remember, because Stroud was so good in 2023, it kind of accelerated the timeline for the Houston Texans. This was a team, if you go back to last year, they were building to be really good in 2024, 2025, right? They weren't building for a team to win a division title in 2023. It, they just took it because C.J. Stroud was so awesome as a rookie. But this was a team that was building for this year and next year. If you look at their young talent, you look at Scruggs, you look at Anderson, you look at Harris, you look at Stingley, you look at Petrie, across the board, Tank Dell, this was a super young team. Mechie's getting to the fold now as well. Super young team, right? And you're sitting there saying, okay, 2023, we're going to have some lumps. And then 2024, we're going to be ready to break out and surprise people. And then 2025, we're going to be really good. But then something crazy happened. C.J. Stroud was absolutely stupendous, and they surprised everyone a year early, right? So everything with the uh, Houston Texans plans was set for 2024 to be the breakout year. And if you look at all these guys, all these young names, they're getting better and better and better with more reps. I love Christian Harris's growth. I love Stingley. If he can be healthy, his growth is there as well. Will Anderson flashed a lot of potential. I'm a huge Drew Scruggs guy, and I think wide receiver, they got so much young talent. It's unbelievable, and C.J. Stroud don't have to say anything more about him. This is a team where it's a just an entire golden generation to borrow a term from the soccer world where everyone is getting all these young talent is getting mature at the same time, right? And that's what we're seeing out of Houston. It's not just CJ Stroud. He deserves a lot of praise and rightly so. But this is a roster wide youth movement of maturity, of growth, of breakout potential coming out of Houston. And they are going to be a force over these next few seasons.